Tuesday, August 17th. We're glad that you've joined Pleasant Hill United Methodist Church for the Upper Room Devotion. This devotion was submitted by Lori Holby from Illinois. The passage suggested to read today is Luke 10, verses 25 to 37. The focal verse for the devotion is Luke 10, 36 and 37. Jesus asked, which one of the three do you think was a neighbor to the man who fell into the hands of the robbers? The expert in the law replied, the one who had mercy on him. Jesus told him, go and do likewise. The name of the devotion is My Neighbors. I called the helpline to fix a computer problem and was placed on hold. The music began to play while I was waiting. Not being a person who wastes time, I decided to read one of my devotionals for the day. The story was about a woman who realized her prayer life was focused too much on herself and her needs. She prayed to be able to broaden her prayer focus. While she was out for a walk, she began to pray for neighbors she did not know well, and even strangers. As I continued to wait, I took her idea and began to pray for the man who was helping me. I am sure he often has to deal with people on the phone who are displeased and difficult to satisfy. I prayed he would come to know God if he didn't already. When our call concluded, I thanked him for his professionalism and wished him a good day. Even though I didn't know him personally, God considers him my neighbor. God desires to hear our concerns and prayers every day and wants to guide us, heal us, and forgive us. Our prayers can extend beyond our family or community and include everyone in the whole world. They are all our neighbors. Our prayer focus is on my neighbors near and far. And our thought for the day is that everyone I meet is my neighbor. Please pray with me. Dear Lord, help us extend our prayers to include people and situations we don't know well so that we can learn to embrace all people as our neighbors. Amen. Thank you for joining us. I hope that you have a great day. God bless you.